is making 3D images of artifacts and you can print them at home? How's that for help with your history homework? The story is tonightsdaily.com. Print a piece of history thanks to Smithsonian's newly launched online collection. The museum has launched a new 3D scanning and printing initiative dubbed Smithsonian X3D. The Smithsonian is the largest museum of its kind in the world. We're talking some 137 million objects. And the online collection includes a browser based 3D viewer that lets you get up close and personal with the objects it's already scanned. We're talking everything from from a woolly mammoth fossil from the Ice Age to historical artifacts like the Wright Brothers' first airplane, where users can download and print an actual model on their home 3D printer. The initiative is aimed at reaching a broader audience, but it's not just the Smithsonian. Across the board, museums are really stepping up their work to innovate and digitize collections to make artifacts accessible for a generation born in the Internet age. And to stand out, the Smithsonian educators are also building interactive tours to view 3D models online. Like with this Lincoln mask, the 3D viewer allows the user to adjust lighting levels to see the aging of the president's face over the course of the war. And get this, the Smithsonian is experimenting with new projections of augmented reality with 3D imaging. That's to help bring dinosaurs or historical figures to life in an exhibit. Hey, you gotta admit, it would be something to have Abraham Lincoln walking around and talking to people. But they say the technology is here. Uh, so far, the Smithsonian is devoting about $350,000 a year to 3D digitization. Oh, I said that wrong. 3D digitization. Close enough, right? The equipment is being donated. Forbes Tech, by the way, had this to say about the newly launched technology. The Smithsonian may have hit one of the best uses of 3D printing to